All right, so I just built my project and I'm just going to hot restart it. And this is what we have so far and it looks good. So now we can start using um, or playing around with our home.dart file. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is rather than returning a container, we're going to return a scaffold widget, okay? And this is going to allow us to have a basic structure in our app. Uh, yeah. So the first thing, first parameter I'm setting is the background color, and this is going to be color 0xff101010, okay? Now, the next parameter will be body, and I'm going to return a container widget. And inside of this container widget, we're going to set the padding, and the padding will be edge insets, dot symmetric, and horizontal, 24 okay next we will set the child parameter and this is going to be type column and inside of this column we'll set the cross axis alignment to cross axis alignment dot start okay next um, we're going to set the children parameter and we'll have a size box and in here it will be height 50 Okay, next we'll set the text and this will be teachable machine.com convolutional neural network. Okay, that's what the CNN stands for. And a convolutional neural network is used to predict or classify images. Okay, so whenever you want to classify um, whether something is a cat or dog, we're using a convolutional neural network to make that decision. Now, we'll set a style for this text, and this text will be of text style, color, color, z zero x f f e e d a two eight, and the font size will be fifteen. Okay. All right, cool. So that's what we're getting right now. Now. I'm going to make I'm going to make the font size just a little bit, bit bigger to 18. 18 looks good. Feel free to play around with whatever you want. Uh, now the next one will be a size box of height six, just for a little spacing between the the following text. And in this text, we'll say detect dogs and cats. And we're going to set the style to text style. And in here, the color will be color 0x ff e99600. After that, we'll set the font weight. And this will be font weight dot w500. And after that, we'll set the font size equal to 28. Okay awesome awesome it's looking good now we're going to add a size box right after this and we'll just we'll just give it a height of uh, let's do 40 40 nice. so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our image asset so the same one that we previously imported and after that we're going to we're going to have two buttons which um, one of them will be um, taking a photo from the camera or grabbing a photo from the gallery, okay? So um, we're going to do that in the next lecture. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns for now, um, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next lecture.